Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a video in which we're going to be looking at um, building to iOS. So publishing that to the App Store and also building on an iPhone. Now, the goal of this video is to do it very, very quickly. I've been looking up tutorials and I think they're a little bit too long. So um, it's going to be split in three parts. First part is going to be about enrolling inside of the Apple developer program. Second part is going to be about building that to your phone. And the third one is going to be about publishing to the App Store. So these steps are all in the bar down below. Make sure you skip if you have one done already. Now, um, we are going to be needing a couple of things. We need a Mac. So any device with Mac OS installed on it. And we're also going to need either an iPad or a iPhone. And that's to build our game, of course. So without further ado, let's get into it. The very first step we'll need to take in order to publish our application to the Apple developer program will be to enroll in it. So we'll need to put our Apple ID and make sure we um, we make it a Apple developer ID. So go on their website, make sure you click on enroll, read through a bunch of stuff and then start your enrollment. At the end of that, you will have to pay a fee, a fee to be part of the um, Apple developer program. And that fee is something you renew every year. It is roughly $120 Canadian and um, make sure that you have that before you publish. Now, if that runs out and you decide not to renew it, your application will not be able to be used by the people who have it and you won't be able to run any updates on them. Actually, it will be removed from the store as well. The second step will have to be done on the developer.apple.com website in which you'll go under, under your account and then you'll choose certificate, identifier and profile. And here we will have to create ourselves a provisioning profile. A provisioning profile requires you to have a certificate, identifier, and also identify a couple of devices in which you'll be running your test on. So we'll start with the certificate here. You're going to hit create certificate and choose Apple distribution. You could be using um, Apple development if you don't plan on pushing this to the app store and only to your device. But in our case, we're using production. Then you'll be asked to create a new certificate. In order to do that, you'll have to access the keychain access application on your Mac head over to Keychain Access and then use the Certificate Assistant to request a certificate from a certificate um, in which you'll enter a couple of information and then make sure you save that to disk. It's very important that you keep it to the disk. Make sure you hit Continue, choose the place where you save it. And then once that's done, we're going to be uploading that on the website. Let's choose that certificate open it and then we'll hit continue and download the result. So in there, our certificate has been merged with Apple and in here we will have to save this to our desktop or anywhere really and make sure we double click on it. It's very important that we open this file because it saves it within our keychain access. To make sure, just open it up and see if you have the certificate. Our second step will have to do with um, adding a app identifier. So go to the identifier section and then click on the plus sign. You're going to be registering a app because we're not doing any services. We're not doing anything like that. We're doing a application. Hit continue. And in here, put a description for that app. And on the second field, we will need the bundle ID. In here, just to make sure that um, there is no problem, I also include the access Wi-Fi information because we're going to be using um, the internet for a couple of features in our game. So to find our application bundle ID, let's make sure we open up our Unity project. And then while we're here, let's also check uh, if you have anything that is Android related or if you have any error, make sure you go ahead and you comment those out in preprocessor statement, just like I did here. For example, I'm using the Play Games platform. Um, but that's only for Android, so I made sure to put that under preprocessor statement. Once that's done, go over to build settings, player settings, and then we'll be able to find our bundle ID, which is just a little bit below in the um, other settings. Copy that over, and we'll be putting that on the website. Once it is done, let's hit continue. And our last step will have to do with um, adding certain devices for testing. So here I already have one. I already have a iPhone connected to my Mac as well. But in your case, if you don't have anything, make sure you hit the plus sign. And then here you're going to be entering your device name. That could be your iPad. That could be your iPhone. But most importantly, you will need the UDID. 
This one, you can find it over on Xcode. So I invite you to build your project for iOS um, at the same time. We'll be saving a little bit of time here. We'll create our project, make sure we build it to Xcode. And then once we have the project built for Unity, we can open up that folder, open the Xcode project, in which we'll be able to find our device UDID. In order to find it, make sure it is connected to the Mac and go over to Window, Device and Simulators. Here, you'll be able to find the identifier. So make sure you copy that over to the website if you don't have a device already. Now with these three things, while we have a certificate, identifier, and also devices, we're now able to create the final piece, which is a profile. A profile pretty much puts all of these together. So let's make sure we create one that is for the Apple Store because we're wishing to um, we're wishing to push that on the App Store. Hit continue, select our app. That's the app identifier. Hit continue again, select the certificate. We only have one. And then finally, give it a name. So in here, I called it the Subway Skater Provisioning Profile. Let's hit generate download that and we'll need to save that because we'll need to also include it in our build. Okay, once that is completed, let's head over to Xcode, open up the project. We'll go under the display name and we change the name here because that's the product name but not the, the name of my game. And finally go over to sign in and capabilities. So I'm gonna be importing my profile, the one I just created. And now everything should work and we'll give it a try by hitting the play button on the left hand side and that should be building to the iPhone. In my case, I had a little bit of issue making this work because I was not under um, the right signing in capabilities. I was actually under release, but I had to be under all. So after going back to that and making sure I, um, I disabled a couple of things, I put the same setting as I had prior, I was then able to build this to the iPhone. after, of course, inputting my password a couple of times. And there we go. Our final step will be to push that over to the App Store Connect. So with your Apple ID, make sure you connect to the Apple Store Connect. And on here, we will be creating ourselves a new app. Of course, before we do that, we have to accept the terms and agreement, then head over to My Apps. Let's left click anywhere or actually on the plus sign to make sure we create a new app. We're not looking to create an app bundle here, just a regular app. Input your information. And once that is completed, we should be put over to a page in which we're going to be entering a lot of information. So this is just like the Google Play Store. You have to input a lot of things um, and also some pictures of your game before it is being put on the store. You could think um, you can think of this as a app store listing. So you have to input your bundle ID, your game category, subtitle, release note, uh, content rights, age rating, all of that. So make sure you go through all of these steps. The information you're looking to fill are in the first section, the one called 1.0 prepare for submission. They're also under general app information and then general pricing and availability. That's what you have to do. And then in terms of the build, to make sure we have a build uploaded there, we have to reopen Xcode and then under Xcode, after building, we are gonna go under product, archive. And it's gonna take a little while to build, but once that is completed, you'll be able to find this right here. On the right hand side, you'll find a blue button called distribute app which we're going to be pressing and following the steps um, that goes along with it. Now, the connection in between your application here in Xcode and the one you've made on the, um, the App Store Connect website will be done automatically when you upload here through the bundle ID. So, of course, you want to have the bundle ID matching on both sides, which is um, really the only way they connect together. Here, you have to include the iOS content or not. Um, in my case, I don't include it because I don't plan on doing debugging so much. But for example, if you have a game that uh, you want to keep metrics off, you want to keep 
uh, crash reports off, even on the user's device, then make sure you include that. You'll need those symbols to debug. Enter the rest of the information, your password a couple of times, and then you should be starting to upload the application. After a little bit, that should be done. It's going to say successfully uploaded. And then you're going to have to wait just a tiny bit because the, the link in between those two websites uh, doesn't seem to be instant. So when I go back on my app listing, I am not able to find anything for the build just yet. But uh, if you wait 5 minutes, 10 minutes, you should be able to see it. So here is a little bit later on. I scroll down and I see plus button next to build. Make sure you click that and you should be able to see your game right there, of course, if the bundle ID match um, the one that you have on the store. Here it asks if our app uses encryption. In our case, it really doesn't. There's nothing encrypting data. Um, usually by default, Unity doesn't have anything, but if you have a third party plugin, there's chances that it might. So double check with that. Once you're ready, hit submit for review, and then you'll see all the steps that you still need to complete before you put that on the app store. In my case here, I need to upload screenshot for four different type of devices. And I did all of that. So once that is completed, I hit submit for review. Just wait a tiny bit and it seems like it went through validation. And now it has been submitted for review.